Hello everyone, my name is Olivia and in today's tutorial I'm going to be recreating the look I wrapped for Megan in the Renaissance Festival photo shoot. I'm going to be wrapping with the Sparkalicious in green and the Shimmery in gold and the accessory is the Infinity Clasp in gold and of course here's the pit. Now I am trying to remember correctly which shaper she wore. Um, I'm thinking, in my memory, it was the the um, ultimate shaper. So I pulled that one out. If I'm wrong, I apologize, but that's uh, that's how I'm remembering it. Um, this one, I didn't take any of the stuffing out, so it's it's the fully stuffed version. Now I'm going to start out by folding over. My goodness folding over the front edge just a little bit just to get a nice a nice clean edge for the front and I'm going to be tying it on with a, a slightly off center so one side is going to be slightly longer and it is the side that's coming out over the left shoulder that will be the longer side so I have conveniently left the center crease in my scarf so I'm going to place it on my head and I'm not doing any angles or anything. It's just straight across. I'm going to do a quick tie in the back. And I believe, yes, the long end, when I'm tying the knot in the back, the long end comes up out of the, out of the top. So I'll show you back here what it looks like. Okay. And then the comparison length, just like this. Okay. Now for the shimmery, I'm not folding it or anything. I just gathering it in, gathering it up. It'll automatically fold and I'm tying it on so that when I bring the, bring the left side over, it ends up being the same size as, as this one, the same length. So this may take a couple of seconds to figure out. Okay, fold that under like so. All right, I'm bringing it underneath. Underneath the green, over top the green. Now, let's see, when I Bring this up and over. Okay, I'm gonna have to make the left side a little bit longer. So just shift it away, shift it around. And then tie it. These are about even. I can give it just a little bit more Okay, that'll work. I'm not bothering to tie it. I don't remember if I did, um, but I'm not gonna tie it today. If it's not not too important for design for the design. Okay, now for the veil portion, I'm opening up the scarf, making it nice and neat. I'm going to fold over just a little bit of the front edge. Again, just for neatness. You don't have to. I'm going to fling this guy up and over. Like so. Okay. Now I'm going to grab this green here. And just the, didn't explain very well, I'm grabbing this front edge here, the front triangle. And I'm gonna bring up this green, bring it around, through, and tie the knot. Now, I'm typically with this wrap, I tie the knot 
a little bit higher, but it worked out better to tie this knot lower. So we have this just like so. Now for the gold scarf, I'm going to bring this up and it is going to cover up this knot here. It's Adjusting. Pulling a little tighter. And adjusting this piece here a little bit further forward. Okay. Now I'm going to bring this up over, up and over. Now, this, of course, is fighting me right now. This particular scarf is <laughs> uh, saying no. But... Okay. All right. So we're going up and over, just like this. Okay, so when I get to this point, I noticed in the photo that I tied the knot differently than I normally tie my knots. I typically come up with this particular, this, I typically come up with the bottom tail and wrap around just like for a beginner's lock. Um, I didn't do that this time. I came up and I wrapped the, I wrapped the knot backwards from what I normally do. Um, I brought the two scarves together, the bottom scarf in front and I wrapped the top scarf around. Now I did this further down. So let's see if I can do it further down. So it comes out just a little bit different looking like this. And then I took the infinity clip, infinity clasp, and I laid it on top right here and put the pin through. I'm being careful not to snag any of my scarves. Okay, part forward and adjusting and that's it. And adjust this a little bit to make it lay pretty. And of course, it can be shifted towards the back some with the green. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to turn to show you this side. Okay, and see if I can get around to show the back. All right. I hope everyone enjoyed the tutorial and has a wonderful day.